We want to look at an example involving simplification of algebraic fractions. First of all, we observe that these are fractions in algebraic form. So to handle this kind of problem, we first of all look out for the LCM of 3, 4, and 12. And to handle this, we'll, the usual way we find our LCM. So we have 3, we have 4, and we have 12. Okay. So looking at this now, maybe we can start with 3. So we can see that 3 can divide itself 1. It cannot divide 4, so we bring 4 down. Then when 3 divides 12, it will give us a 4. Then another thing that can divide is 4. So looking at this, 4 can go. So 4 going into 1, it cannot, so we bring down 1. Then 4 can divide 4, which will give us 1, so we put down the 1. Then again, 4 can still divide 4 here, so we have 1. Since we have 1 all through here, so the LCM now of 3, 4, 12 is the same thing as a 12. So the first thing is to get the LCM, and now we have gotten the LCM. So we proceed to do the, the necessary subtractions that are there. So we proceed as follows. So we now have that 3m plus 2 over 3 minus m minus 1 over 4 minus 5 over 12 is now equals to, so write the dividing line, and the, our LCM is 12. So we put down our LCM, which is 12. Now, 3 divides 12 will give us 4. So 4, we multiply the terms in the numerator. So we now have that 3 divides 12 will give us 4. So 4, we now multiply what we have there, which is 3m plus 2. So we put it in bracket, indicating that 4 is multiplying 3m plus 2. So the next thing is to recall our subtraction. We put the subtraction. Now we go here. Now 4, we divide 12. And when 4 divides 12, that will give us 3. So 3, we now multiply the terms we have in the numerator, which is now m minus 1. So now I'll put it in brackets, m minus 1. And finally, we recall that 12, we divide the LCM. So when 12 divides 12, that will give us a 1. Then that 1, we put it here, okay, and times 5. So that 1, we multiply the, the other term we have there in the numerator, which in this case is 5. And when that is done, what will be the result? So we have this to be equals to so now we open the bracket, and opening the bracket is we use the term that is outside the bracket to multiply each of the terms inside the bracket. So we start with 4. So 4 times 3m will give us uh, 12m, then plus 4 times 2 will give us uh, 8. Now we are done with this first part of the bracket, so we are done with here. So the next one is to consider this one now. So recall, we put our minus, then 3 times m is the same thing as 3m, then we recall that minus 3 is multiplying, so we have minus 3 times m, minus 3m, then minus 3 times minus 1. Remember that minus times minus is plus, so we put down the plus, so we say plus 1. And finally, the last lap of it is this one, so we handle minus 1 times 5, will give us a minus a 5, and that's what we have all over 12. So this will give us, now if you do this simplification, we we'll have that to be equals to, so we can pull, do uh, the factorization by grouping, so we can pull the m and ordinary numerical values, so we have this to be equals to, so we have 12m minus 3m, so we're not done with m, so we go to ordinary values, so we start with 8, so we have plus 8, we have plus 1, and we have minus 5, so we have done factorization by grouping, so this will now give us, remember, 12m minus 3m. So here now, 12m minus 3m will give us uh, 9m. So we have this to be 9m. Then again, we look at 8 plus 1. So we have here is 8 plus 1, which is 9. And 9 minus 5 will give us uh, 4. So we'll quickly recall a situation here. So let's go back. We have a little issue here. So we go back here, recall how we got this. This when 3 minus 3 multiplies m, we have minus 3m, and that's what we have here. Okay, then minus 3 times minus 1, like I said, that minus times minus will give us plus, which we have here. So we have the plus, okay. 
Then finally, minus then 3 times 1 will give us 3. So this place should be 3 and not a 1. So we do the correction here. So here should be plus 3. So now we now have 8 plus 3 now, which is 11. And 11 minus 5 will now give us 6. So we have plus 6 here. And we we'll recall our denominator, which is 12. And that is the expected value we have to get when we try to simplify this algebraic expression we have. So when we simplify this, so the result we get is this expression we have here, which is 9m plus 6 over 12. And that should be the simplification.